Ow. Ow. So I'm gonna be doing my best to vlog today. I typically don't film on days like this because I'm literally just going to school, but I thought it might be interesting. I don't think I've ever filmed what, what I actually do at school. This might be totally boring, but we're gonna try it anyways. We got a 30 minute walk. My first class is uh, digital systems where we design circuits, but like, most of my classes are software courses. So how am I supposed to vlog in class? It's gonna be so difficult. I'm trying. <laughs> oh shit. I'm gonna I gotta go to stats. Where are you going? I'm going to the gym. Oh I'm gonna go later. See ya. See ya dude. <laughs> I don't know how to do this anymore. <laughs> gotta figure out how to how to implement a four bit ALU and nor NAND all with a single adder. So most likely it's a feeling that might be a way She wanted something, you wanted something to stop to say She fucking something, you fucking something to stop to say Been thinking about you for we wanna Just got out of my digital systems lab I didn't even have time to like, I started implementing the circuit And it was, I don't know why, it just didn't work So probably failed that lab, but that's fine Look at this, yo But right now I'm gonna walk home, it's like 5pm And then I'm gonna show you guys some actual software development because today I didn't do any software development I was recommended to do a cooking with Devin show here it is Chuck these guys just wait till you see how much pasta I make I'm dead serious Ignore my room right now. Uh, almost done this thing. I'm gonna eat this. Also, if you're new to this channel, if you've never seen me before, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I wanna know if you guys are interested in more software development videos. After I eat, I'm gonna show you guys some code, so make sure you subscribe. I'll be right back. <laughs> I wanted to talk about the actual software that I work on at school, like what the assignments are like. I can't show too much because I don't think I'm allowed to. So this is a question from the assignment. Design a brute force algorithm to solve the convex hull problem. Design a recursive divide and conquer algorithm to solve the convex hull. This sounds really confusing. I'll explain it to you in simple terms. I should go into my Linux development. Give me a second here. Turns out all the problem is asking, let's say you have a bunch of random points, connect the dots in a way such that it surrounds all the other points and it has to be the smallest perimeter. This point connected to this point, Da, da, da. But now how do you design an algorithm to do this? The brute force algorithm is pretty much the most inefficient thing. It'll be something like four, four, Four. In the assignment, we have to design an algorithm that is a divide and conquer algorithm. So what you do, you pick the point with the farthest x distance, the lowest x and the greatest x. You gotta find the point, which is this one, that is the farthest distance between the line. So what you do is you form a triangle and then you delete the points on the inside of the triangle. You do the same thing on the bottom. So as you can see, this point is the farthest so the goal of our algorithm is to find these points. So we've already circled four of them. So now what we do is we just do the same algorithm again, except we choose this, this point and this point. Well, there's only one thing over here, but if there was two, you would choose this one, form another triangle, take this one out, add this point to the convex hull, add this point to the convex hull, but as you can see, there's another one. So we're still gonna have to do another one. I don't even know if that made any sense, what I just said. Each line is one point, X value and there's a Y value. So we're gonna make the project. It's probably gonna tell me, yeah, enter a file. This is the brute force algorithm. As you can see, I'm running convex hull brute. If I hit run, you're gonna see that it doesn't finish. It starts spitting out the numbers, but it doesn't actually finish, watch. One of the cores is at 100%. He gave us so many data points that 
it cannot solve the, the problem in the required amount of time. As you can see, it's stuck. With, with the divide and conquer algorithm, we only have to do 100,000 comparisons, whereas with the brute force algorithm, we have to do 2.7 trillion comparisons. So now if you're wondering what that looks like as a difference, um, I can just run convex hull divide. Let's hit enter in three, two, one. <laughs> Yo, so completed divide and conquer algorithm in 414 milliseconds, right? The other algorithm would have taken hours and it has all the points here. I can only show you this much. It sorts all the points by their X value and then it grabs the point at the start of the list, which is obviously gonna be the uh, lowest X value. And we grab the greatest X value and then we add those points to the convex hull. All right, I'm talking way too much. Um, what I just showed you is my algorithms class. We mostly design algorithms, but we have to analyze their time efficiency and stuff. So most programming courses don't really involve any math, but this one has a tiny bit of math in it. One of the things that's actually, um, used for the convex hull problem is like because like let's say you want to find the path from here to here but there's obstacles in between if you have the coordinates of the obstacles then you can give it to my algorithm and it will determine what the shortest path is that goes around the obstacles so that's actually this is a very useful problem 